Hi everyone and welcome to Know Your PC. I'm Malou. And I am Bob. And this right here is the HP TouchSmart PC, the IQ500 series. That's right. And today we're going to be learning a little bit more about some of the TouchSmart software and what it can do for you. What are we going to learn today, Malou? We're going to have some fun. I'm going to show you how to create and edit text notes and also voice notes. Yay! Okay. I love notes. Get your voice ready. Okay. I okay. <clears throat> me, me, me. All right. So I'm going to launch the HP TouchSmart home screen. I'm going to touch a little house here on the little right corner. All right. All right. So I have my large tiles here because these are the things that I like to get to on a daily basis. So I have notes up there. All right. I'm nice. going to tap notes. Opening notes. Opening notes. And now you have, you know, the new bulletin board, like the new refrigerator, all your notes. Oh, nice? so if, I, if I'm leaving notes, it goes here, so no more whiteboard, no more refrigerator. No more thumbtacks, no more magnets. Awesome. Yeah, last time I did a thumbtack, watch out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, paper cut? Yeah, well, I don't want to talk about it. Okay, let's create a note here for you. So in the bottom left corner of the screen here, there's a little happy face. I'm going to tap that. Okay. Here's your little notepad. It says write a note. We're going to write a note. We are going to write a note. Okay. So there are a few ways to write notes. All right. Let's first select the notes pad color. It's green. sort of a, yeah, yeah, like light. a light green. If it's any color you want it to be. All right. Okay. And then you have a pen right here. So now your finger is the new pen. Ooh, what's up, finger? You ready for some writing action? <laughs> so I've tapped the pen. Okay. And this is just a one way to write a note. So you see that you also have different colors. Okay. So you can choose any color that you want. All right. Well, it's red. I'm wearing red. Let's do red. Red. Okay. Wrong with red. And so now, remember what I just told you? Okay. This is the new pen. All right. Show me your show me your pen work. Touch Penmanship. the screen, and I'm going to write. Look at this, isn't that nice? Hi. Hi there, how's it going? It's fine, how are you? Very good, thank you. So listen, there's a there's a little uh, circle right here. Okay. If you, you know, adjust it. Then adjust the... I'll show you the thickness of the your thickness. font. Oh, so now it's thicker. Look at that, hi B. B. Hi Bob. Some people call me B. Some people call me Bob. See, that's how you write. Some people call me B Bob. <laughs> that's how you write with your finger. You can also, <laughs> let's see, since I messed that up a little bit. All right. There's an eraser here, all right. I can erase all that. Look at this. Oh, very cool. Isn't that fun? I now, used to like to smell erasers. Clean slate. Yeah. The other way to create a text is by tapping the ABC right here. Right. And then if you touch here where the little cursor is, it brings up the input panel. If I okay. tap that, you can see there are other ways to write a text. Okay. So you have a little keyboard right here. I'm going to tap the keyboard. So there's a screen keyboard and a physical keyboard. Exactly. Okay. So if I hit the space bar here and I wanted to write hi, Bob, again, I tap H-I-B-O-B. -B. There we go. See that? And there's another section right here where you tap on that and it detects your writing. Okay. So if I if I did an H right there, and I did a, an I right there, you see, I just automatically reads it. It detects it. And it starts to put it in. Yes. Okay. See, let's, so let's say. Oh, well, I made a mistake. That's not an I. Nice. So if I want to erase, I can also just take my finger and go to the left really fast, and it erases it. What? Isn't that nice? I love that. Let's say I'm done. All right, we're done. I, I have to tap more. done. Okay. There is the note. I can move the note up to the top here. Okay. You can move all your notes around. Also, I want you to see that when you tap on the note... It comes back up. Okay. Okay. Done again. So can I make a note now? Yes, you can make a note. Okay. All right. So I noticed, I noticed that there are... Uh, sorry. ...is uh, some pictures here. So let me do a little picture note, I guess. I'm going to choose uh, purple. You like purple? Sure. I, I, I feel that purple will bring out the essence of my note the best. Oh, wow. Well. Uh, it's a very artistic approach. Uh, so I'm going to do a little land here. Isn't that pretty? And then I'm going to make a palm tree. Are you an artist? No, clearly. But I'm going to make a nice sun with some rays. That's nice. Let's go to that beach. Are you all done? I'm all done. OK, so you can see that your note's going to post here as well. Put right, it up put to it the up top. top. Yeah. So there are several notes here. Like I said, you can move them all around. If you want to get rid of one, you could drag it in the trash. Crumples it up, puts it in the trash. Right, what if I put yours in the trash? Don't do it! Oh, why are you doing that to me? <laughs> you can it was go back. beautiful. You can go back. Oh. So I'm going to tap trash. You can take it out there of the it trash. There it is. Thank you. Thank so you. So we tap on your note. All right. Restore, definitely. Let's let's restore both. I don't feel like throwing anything away right now. Okay, done. I'm feeling very vulnerable after that. So there, your note is still there. And you <sighs> notice that when you do tap on the note, it brings it in large form, right? Oh, great, great. So you okay. can read it big style. All right, so that's the way that you create a text note. Yes. There's another kind. Give it to me. A voice note. All right, so we have a little microphone here. We're going to tap the microphone. Now we have a little recording panel. Okay. So I'm going to tap record, and you start talking. The microphones are right here. OK, and do Itty I have to close or anything like that? You're fine right there. OK. You ready? Yep. Malou, I just wanted to let you know your mom's coming into town, and you had better clean up your room. <laughs> All right, let's play. So there's a little play button here. Malou, I just wanted to let you know your mom's coming into town, and you had better clean up your room. Do you like that? 
I do because okay. you have a dirty room. All right, so, uh, <laughs> so make sure that when you record your okay. voice like that, that you you tap keep. keep. All right, I want to keep the voice. You want to keep that. The cool mm. thing about the audio notes or the voice notes is that you can add a text if you want. Okay. Okay. Now, if you do add a text or you don't add a text, when you are done, mm -hmm. even though you've already already recorded the voice note, yeah. you have to make sure that you tap done. Done. Okay. For it to post. Okay. All right. So this is like step two, and when you're done with step two, move on. Okay, Push we're done. good. Got it. Done. Done. So there you have the voice note. And you created it 22 seconds ago. I'm going to put it up there. It exists up there. Okay. And we're all done. So to bring it back to the home screen, when you walk in, you can see that you have three notes waiting for you. That's awesome. You like that? I love that. Okay, we're all done. know when I got to check my notes. So it's a lot of fun. Now you know how to create and edit text notes and voice notes. Thanks, you guys. If you have any questions, always go to hp.com slash touchsmart or... You can also send us an email at knowyourpc at hp.com. So thanks for watching. I'm Malou. And I'm Bob. Have a good day.